Hello. I'm going to bring you a review on the Beats by Dre solo HDs. Now, I have had a lot of questions on should I get these headphones or do they really work that well or... But, I'm just going to give you my unboxing and my review of the headphones. But first, here is the outside. Um, as you can see, we have the example of the headphones. They are this color. This is a dark blue. You can see I have the Solo HD. One of the smaller versions, but the other bigger versions I've had tried on, they get my ears hot because they cover your whole ear. And that's why I decided to go with the, like these is cover your ear, but I'll show you in a minute. Here you have instructions about on the HDC, on the eye devices. Um, that's pretty much it right there. You have a picture of the headphones. Then you have just kind of some info about the headphones. And here you have some more stuff about Beats. But, I mean, Dr. Dre. Another picture of the headphones. That's pretty much the outside covering. So, let's get into the good stuff. Here we have a little beat symbol. Nothing else so much going on there. I don't know if you can see that, but that is magnetized. I don't think you can know that, but if I took like, which is really nice. Um, first in here. Velcro. Um, have stickers. We have the SoHD user guide. Um, pretty much instructions on how they work. We have the warranty. Gotta keep up with this. You know, I'm likely to break mine. We have an info guide. Um, it pretty explains the company, the shows you Beats Pros, the studios, all the headphones pretty much, Beats Wireless, um, Solo HDs, which I have, the Beats Tours, which are the earphones, right here. These were my second choice, the Power Beats. They're like the over ear, which help you when you're working out. Um, not a big fan of these Heart Beats by Lady Gaga. They're just and then the boot beatbox portable. Um, we got the stickers. I actually stick one right there. Um, Beats by Dre. Bunch of Chinese stuff. I can't read that. That's all you have in that pocket besides the receipt, but. Here we come down to the real stuff. We got a little opening for where the headphones are. That's the box. Here is the case. It almost feels like a little nice. Mm. The beat symbol, but oh, one thing I found that I don't like about this bag 
is it's got this little clip that I can't really reach. But see, I'm gonna clip it. And it's really hard to clip it back. Because, see, I can't really see it. See, you can't see it. But I got it. Here, we actually have the headphones. Um, got a nice little sparkle to them, a good feel. Um, the only, I'll get to that in a minute. Here we have the cord. Um, oh, I keep my cord in a little, little pocket because the headphones are almost too big for the bag. And so when most people like circle them up, they don't fit in there for me, but here are the actual headphones. The only problem I have is they're very fragile, I feel like. Because one time I was playing and I laid down on my ear like this and it cracked. But it didn't really crack, it just popped. And so, but they fold up. See like right here they have the hinges kind of. They just pull it to come out, which these are going to be way too big on me. But you push it back in, just like normal headphones. And then to put them back up, you just push, and it's kind of got little hinges. And then, like that, and you've got, everybody recognizes this, Beats by Dre. Then you got the padding right there. And see, as I was saying, these don't cover over your ears, they just cover on, but the studios go all the way over, and so they just make your ears really hot, but these don't cover your whole ears. And what I thought was cool about this cord, not the control top, where you can pause it, skip songs up and down, but if you put it in this way, it's normal, but if you put it in the opposite way, it is, um, uh, I think it's like karaoke, like where it doesn't have any words where it plays music. I'm not really sure about that. I've never really tried it, but that's what I've heard, but I'll give you a closer look, but that's pretty much it on the headphones. I mean, they sound great. Um, they're the best headphones I've probably ever heard besides the pros. You can see I just put these, of course, but who really needs a $600 pair of headphones? I mean, really. These are way too expensive as I think. They sound great. Like, here, I'll give you a closer look. Not really sure if you can see the texture is what I really like. It got like rough right there. But that's pretty much a review on the Beats Budger headphones. And thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever YouTube really does.